Hey, what's up guys? This is Devin here. Today we are going to be doing a showcase and review and kind of walkthrough of the Pelican Catch 120. Um, I bought this kayak used uh, about a month, about a month ago or so, and I've had it out uh, I think about three times now and it's been fantastic. I've had a lot of good feedback and uh, people wanted me to do a review and kind of showcase it and uh, show them how I tow it and things like that. So that's what we're going to do today. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. I appreciate it. All right, guys. So as I was discussing, one of the big questions I got was how do I tow my kayak safely? Um, do I use a bed extender? Do I use a trailer? What do I use? And today I'm going to show you exactly how we do that. Um, I drive an access cab Tacoma. So I have the long bed, which for me works out really well for this kayak because I don't need a bed extender because three quarters of the kayak or so fits in the bed of the truck with the tailgate down. So what we've got here, let me show you, is I've got my, uh, the little rail hooks here. My bed has a built-in rail system and I've got these little locking uh, tabs type deals here. And I've got them placed about, uh, I don't know, about a foot back from the cab. And then these straps here, I bought from Austin Kayak. Um, I will actually place a link in the description. These are 15 foot straps, okay? And what I do is I run, I run those straps from the, the tab back there and I run it through the farthest scupper hole right here, both of them. So I run it through the handle here. I run it through here. I bring it out from the bottom and back up, obviously back up from underneath and pull it through. And I, I get this one pretty tight first. And then of course I come over to this side and I do the exact same thing. So what that does is it helps pull my kayak back towards the cab. Um, so it puts the pressure, you know, pulling it backwards. And as you can see, it's in there, it's in there pretty dang good. Um, I found that those two straps, straps, those two straps have worked perfect. Um, I've had it up to 70, 75 on the freeway with the kayak in the back and it's been fine. And I put a strap right here over the center um, and I wrap it around the paddle as you can see here just to help hold my paddle in place. And then of course I have it bungeed in the back and that just helps, you know, push the kayak down a little bit and also keep your, your paddle real secure. The seat, um, the seat I have secured with the strap that comes with it. I have it through both bars. Um, the seat's pretty hard to push up, so it's not gonna fly up while you're driving, or it shouldn't anyway. Um, but that's how I have it. That's how I tow it in my truck, and of course I fly a red, red bandana off the back. Anything that sticks off pretty far off the bed of your truck, or even your car, you should have some kind of uh, flag or indicator, preferably orange or red, that's real bright that people will see so they don't ram into the back of you. Um, but fairly basic for, for how I tow it. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description. These are 15 foot straps. I run it through the furthest scupper hole and tighten those down. Not super, super tight. I mean, you don't want to put a crease in your kayak, but uh, I, I put them down pretty tight to where this isn't going to shift. And um, that's pretty much it for towing. So hopefully that gives you guys a good insight to how I tow it. If you have a better way or a different way that you tow it, that's fine. Uh, this works well for me, so I'm going to stick with this. Eventually, I may uh, try something different if a time comes where I'm going to face inclement weather or have a really far road trip or something like that. But for now, this works well. So let's get on the water and get an in-depth review. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey guys, so now we're gonna go into how the Pelican Catch 120 performs on the water. The seat is unbelievably comfortable. Um, one of the great things you can do too is we have this nifty paddle holder right here. So I can do that. I can undo this latch right here and simply raise my seat up like so. my strap back through and now we're sitting high which is really nice to sit up off the water like this you can see quite a difference now how high I'm sitting stand up easy no problem
Nothing to it. All right guys, so now let's do let's do a quick overview here of the kayak. So starting up front, obviously you've got a nice grab handle here. Um, I've got my bandana here to fly off the bed of the truck, which I kind of went over. Um, if you're wondering what the yellow rope is, I have that tucked inside this big storage hatch up front. And that's that way I can pull this rope out and drag it alongside the dock if I needed to do that. Um, you've got quite a bit of storage in here. It goes pretty far back. At some point, I'm probably gonna add a big dry bag right here to put you know, an ice chest or some food and snacks in there. Um, I also added a GoPro mount right here, which is attached from underneath. I drilled a small hole um, and just found the matching size bolt, put a couple washers, put some silicone around it so it's it's in there real good. So that's your front hatch there. And it's, um, I wouldn't say it's super duper waterproof. I mean, I wouldn't try to dunk the front end underwater for any reason, but um, it's definitely gonna keep water out, you know, if it's raining or you get into some uh, some big waves or something like that, it should keep the majority of the water out. So nice latches there. Uh, moving our way up here, obviously you have the adjustable foot pegs. You just push them forward and slide to your desired position. So that's nice. You've got some space here to put, you know, a depth finder or maybe a rod holder. You have a grab strap here, which I believe is if you're trying to stand up. Um, if you're in the seat, you can grab this. It'll help pull you up. You have a paddle holder here that's built in, these little little rests here so you can set your paddle down if you know, you're know you just relaxing or if you want somewhere to get your paddle out of the way. Um, you can see these kind of foot placements here. This is where you stand if you're gonna stand up. You have two pad eyes on each side and I have my uh, paddle leash locked in right there. Of course, two more grab handles. Um, this buckle here, is to tighten your seat down. So I have it run over the the back bar, and then of course I would just run it through here and bring it up. And the neat thing about this kayak here is it has two seating positions, so you have low. If you want to sit up, you just grab your seat, place it in here, like so. And now you're a good probably six or eight inches or so higher than you were before, same kind of deal. Then you would grab your strap and uh, lock it in so that's a really nice feature I like sitting up high like that got a paddle leash holder on each side which is nice uh, two flush mount rod holders I have my milk crate here that that's in the works I have two rod holders on it right now at some point I'll uh, at some point I'm probably gonna build what's called a rocket launcher it's a uh, rod holder that goes across from here to here. That way I can put three or four rods right behind me. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, the neat thing too about when you raise your seat up this high, so you've got quite a bit of storage underneath, so I can slide my camera box under there, slide a small cooler, snacks, waters, whatever you need. Uh, you can see how big, how much space you have back here. I could fit a much larger crate. If I move this, I can move this all the way up, fit something back here if I needed to. Of course, you have a drain plug right here, another grab handle in the back. Um, another thing about this kayak is it's a uh, tunnel hole, so it isn't a V-hole. So if you're looking for a kayak that's very fast, uh, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this just because the tunnel hole is built more for stability rather than speed. And that's what I was looking for, especially on the bayous and creeks, it was a kayak that was super stable so I could stand and fish. That's important to me. Um, and then another key thing about this kayak, of course, is the seat. The seat's extremely comfortable. Folds down nice and easy. You can adjust um, You can adjust the straps here as far as how far you want it to lean back or forward. Uh, what else, what else? But yeah, so far it's been a great kayak. I've had it out three, three, three times or so. And um, it's performed really well. Like I said, my favorite, my, probably my favorite part about it is how stable it is. I love being able to stand and fish. That's a, that's a big thing for me. 
Um, and also too, the great thing about how easily you can stand is if you need to get up and stretch your back or take a break, you can easily stand up out of the seat and do that. Stand for a few minutes, you know, and, and give your back, your back a rest. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a great kayak. Like I said, there's a tunnel hole. Um, this again, this is the Pelican Catch 120. If you're looking for something that is very stable, I would highly recommend this. If you're looking for something that's a little bit faster, uh, you may want to look into some of the other lines that Pelican offers. I believe there's the Strike 120. Uh, my buddy has the Premium Enforcer, I believe it's called. And um, it's a great kayak too. He can stand real easy and it's a V-hole, so he cuts through the water a little bit better than I do. But uh, so far, so good. I'm really, I'm really liking it. Uh, I'm going to be taking it out again very soon, and hopefully we'll have some more fishing videos for you guys. But uh, any questions, concerns, or anything about this kayak, if there's something I missed you want to know, uh, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to help out. So I hope you guys appreciate this video, and until next time, take care, tight lines. Thanks for watching.